It makes me so happy to see them go to school. It's not easy to pay for the things they need. Shoes, books, school supplies. But I want them to have a better life than I've had. Isn't that what every mother wants? When I first came to Lima from the mountains, there was nothing here but sand. There was no electricity and no water. My husband and I built a one-room shack. Little by little, things have changed. A lot of our neighbors have electricity and running water. One of these days, we will too. When you don't have much, you really need each other. Solidarity is what helps you get by. We mothers realized that meals would cost less if we pooled our resources. We all pitched in to make a nutritious lunch for our families. Now our soup kitchen feeds almost a hundred families a day. There are 23 million people in Peru. One third of them live here in Lima. The problem is that there aren't many jobs. In the city, everybody does what they can to survive. And in the countryside, crop prices are so low that it's hard to make a living. Now the governments of Peru, the United States, and other countries are talking about a free trade agreement that would lift all import taxes. When that happened in Mexico, farmers went broke because they couldn't compete with cheaper farm products from the United States. If the same thing happens here with free trade, I'm afraid that more and more people will have to leave the countryside and start over again in a shantytown like we did. Our sewing workshop is different. This is called fair trade. We do high quality work and get paid a fair price, thanks to the Presbyterian Church and the Fair Trade Bridge. There are 15 workshops like ours in Peru, and more will open this year. We make our products out of fabric that's manufactured here in Peru using traditional patterns. We want people to learn about our culture, too. This workshop has changed my life. Now that we have a steady income, we can think about the future. The first time I was paid, I bought shoes for my son. Most of us have used the money to improve our houses, or so our children can finish school. I wish the people who buy our products could see what a difference the Fair Trade Bridge has made to us. And I hope our workshop can grow so that we can help other families the way we've been helped. Our sewing workshop has taught us that solidarity has no borders. The women in our workshop and the people who buy our handcrafts Together, we're weaving a better world, one thread at a time.